Thanks, Nick. And we have breaking news to lead us off in sports this morning. The Ivy League is canceling its winter sports season due to the coronavirus pandemic. A major domino to fall, considering the Ivy League was the first conference to cancel its men's and women's conference tournaments in March, and was also the first conference to announce it wouldn't hold fall sports because of the pandemic. Meanwhile, the winter season is still a go in the Atlantic 10 Conference. As the Bonnie's basketball rolls under two weeks, head coach Mark Schmidt has his team prepared for the start of the season. The only problem is, outside of their first four opponents in Bubbleville, the Bonnies didn't even know who they were preparing for. Well, this week, the A-10 finally provided some closure when they announced the conference schedules for this season. For the Bonnies, they open up with three teams in the top six of the preseason poll, beginning with St. Louis, followed by road trips to Rhode Island and preseason favorite Richmond just after New Year's Day. 18 conference games in total for the Bonnies, same as last year, with nine airing nationally. The remaining nine games you can catch on ESPN+. But with all the uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus situation, A-10 Commissioner Bernadette McGlade acknowledges the schedule is far from set in stone. And the membership, which is us, responded quickly to the commission. and The league office, if necessary, has the ability to readjust the schedule at any point in time move games and make the necessary decisions. Everyone has come together, coalesced around what we need to do to be successful in the COVID environment. The league has plenty of bye dates built into the schedule. The only conference game without a date for the Bonnies is their conference opener against St. Louis. And there will be a few preseason all-conference selections taking the floor for the Bonnies. Both the men's and women's team have a few selections. Junior guard Asian A. Johnson received second team honors for the women. She returns as a leading scorer for the Bonnies from a year ago. Junior guard Kyle Lofton took home a second team selection as well from the men's side after leading the NCAA in minutes per game. And Oshun Oshunie found his way onto the third team after a dominant season defending the rim that led him to a second consecutive all defensive team selection. Some NFL news now where the Bills are in the midst of a historic season led by quarterback Josh Allen, the reigning AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Fresh off a victory over the Seattle Seahawks, the win was a big step for the Bills. But for Allen, the win meant a lot more. Head coach Sean McDermott announced post-game that Allen's grandmother, Patricia Allen, had passed away the night before Sunday's game after her battle with cancer. In honor of Allen's grandmother, the Bills Mafia came together by donating over $400,000 to Oshai Children's Hospital. Donations have been made in $17 increments, paying homage, of course, to Allen's number 17. Buffalo proving once again why it's called the city of good neighbors. It's the 50th game of the season. Major scheduling news out of the NBA this week. The League and Players Association agreed to a 72-game season beginning on December 22nd. The season spans until mid-July, ensuring players will not lose a substantial amount of their salary. This also puts the league back on track to start their 2021-2022 season as scheduled next October. We finish, of course, with SBU TV Sports Trivia, as this week's question stays on the hardwood. Which teams did St. Bonaventure beat in the A-10 tournament to win their first championship during the 2011-2012 season? Andrew Nicholson led the Bonnies to victories over St. Joseph's, Massachusetts, and Xavier. Congratulations to Iris Archer of Marlton, New Jersey for sending in the first correct answer. And the Bonnies, of course, begin their path to another A-10 title in just 12 days when they open up their season in Bubbleville against Towson. Be sure to follow us on all our social medias to show off your Bonnies knowledge when SBU TV Sports Trivia turns on Tuesday. That's all we have for sports. Back to you, Zach and Nick.